My name is Andreas Tuari, I'm the lead level designer at Avalanche Studios in Stockholm and I'm working on Mad Max. Uh, Mad Max is a complete standalone game, uh, we've got our own stories. Timeline wise we're set probably about uh, just before the new movie that's going to be coming out. Um, but we've done our own story, our own characters, so everything's completely standalone, developed in-house at Avalon Studios. It's a third-person open-world game, uh, obviously very action-driven, very action-packed, and uh, the player takes on the role as Max and makes his way through the wasteland. We've obviously looked a lot at the IP overall, and we've looked at the at, at the art direction, at the settings, and um, you know we've been massive fans of the franchise for a long time, so we've been waiting to do this game for quite some time now, and we're trying to be as, as uh, authentic as we can be to the overall settings and the overall feel. Uh, while still you know, doing our own thing and marrying it to, to what we do as a studio. Today we've introduced uh, two characters, obviously Max himself, you know, the game wouldn't, wouldn't work without him at all, and the other character you, you've seen in the, in the hands-on presentation that we're doing is, um, is Chum Bucket, and he's, um, he's a bit of a wasteland legend in his own right. He's a, he's a legendary mechanic, he's known throughout the wasteland, and early on in the game they're both, Max and Chum Bucket are both in a bit of a, a dire situation and they align themselves and they work together um, to get through the wasteland and survive the, the wasteland. You'll have we different weapon types that, that you can attach to your vehicle as well as on ground and melee weapons. I mean the game wouldn't be the same without an iconic shotgun as you can see in the background there as well. I mean we have, we just simply had to have that one. Um, but there's a host of other melee weapons that the player can pick up and modify as well. We've done, we've done a lot of vehicle stuff, uh, uh, vehicle gameplay before in our previous titles. But obviously with this, with this title, because it is such an iconic car based game as well, uh, we really wanted to take it to the new level. So what we've really focused on is the physicality of it, um, upgrading your vehicle, which is not something we've really done before. So we've set a lot of time and effort aside just, by, uh, just for the upgrade of the cars. Uh, making sure you've got a signature vehicle that fits your playstyle, so there's a multitude of upgrade possibilities and everybody can build, pretty much build their own ultimate war machine. I'd say one of the things we've learned, and we obviously look a lot at, at how people play the game, and you know, there's, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there of people enjoying our previous games. And what we found is that, that players pick up on, on good, what we call good gameplay density, so that there's always something to do and there's always something on the horizon that they can just see and, and go to and, oh, I want to check this out and things like that. And we really want to get this into the wasteland as well with Mad Max. So um, what we've created is a, is a, if you look at the map that we're presenting today, the, the possibilities in the wastelands are, are enormous. And then on top of that, we've layered a lot of what we call random encounters that, that fit the, the wasteland style and feel as well. Today, I can only really talk about one, one region because um, that's what we've revealed. And this is, uh, it's called the Great White. And it's it's a it's a massive dried out seabed, um, you know, post apocalyptic. So it's it's littered with with ships and shipwrecks and uh, some man made structures that would fit like a sea region. Um, and it's quite diverse. It's not just a, a desert, but it's quite diverse with coral reefs and and, and other other uh, types of structure and, and and rocks and sand formations. So. We're trying to be as diverse as we can, but also authentic to what like a, a, a post-apocalyptic wasteland of that particular region would look like. In fact, water is actually one of the resources that you'll be scavenging for. So water is a, is a prized commodity and it's not readily available in every, in every location. Um, so Max will actually have to scavenge to, to get that. Um, other than that, I mean, you'll, as I said, you'll, from the, from the uh, trailer you've seen, as well as from the, the presentation that we're showing here, You'll see a lot of you know shipwrecks, rusted down shipwrecks, already scavenged for the for the, the, the parts that are usable, um, as well as you know the occasional whale bones and things like that. So you'll you'll know you're you're at the bottom of the sea really. The game stood in uh, 2014, and we're obviously releasing on PS4, uh, Xbox One, as well as PS3, Xbox 360, and the PC.